Welcome to Desk Geek. I am so excited about this. PS4 has released their patch 3.5, which means you can now stream your PS4 to your PC. This is the best news ever for PlayStation. In my opinion, as somebody who has kids, or if your PlayStation's in your living room and you don't want to disturb roommates, etc., now if you have a computer, which I have one in practically every room, you can now stream all of your favorite games privately to that computer and be able to play without interrupting anybody else. This will work for Mac and this will work for Windows, but just keep in mind if you have a Windows PC, you've got to have Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. 32 or 64 bit will work. You've got to have a Core i5 um, or higher. You have to have at least 100 megabytes of available storage, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and a 1024 by 768 resolution sound card, and of course a USB port. If you don't have a USB port or a sound card, I don't know what kind of computer you're running, but you probably shouldn't try to stream to it anyways. It may catch on fire. If you're a Mac user, it's pretty much the exact same. You've got to have a Core i5. You've got to have 40 megabytes of free space, so not quite as much storage needed. Two gigabytes or more of RAM, and again, a USB port. So very minimal specs, but you can only stream at 720p, so keep that in mind. And all you're going to do is the first thing, since you're already at your computer watching this tutorial, is go to Sony's website here type in remote play or you can click on the link I have below there's no cost for this don't accidentally download some third-party software make sure it's the remote play site and all you're gonna do is choose Windows PC or Mac whichever you have download it and you're gonna click next OK install there's nothing you gotta type in there's no special settings it's really idiot proof and you're gonna get a little icon that looks just like this here and don't click it yet we're not ready to do anything because we got to go over to the ps4 and we got to do some settings there specifically we got to make sure we've downloaded the 3.5 uh, system software update so I will go over to the ps4 and then we will come back when we're ready to play one last thing you can go ahead and plug in if you have an extra ps4 controller your ps4 controller to your PC and you're gonna do that making sure you have the USB cord so the charging cable you use uh, just plug it right into your PC so it's got to be tethered to your computer for it to work okay so I've gone and I've downloaded the patch but just to make sure that you're in the right you have the right patch the 3.5 you can go to system software update if you don't have it this will automatically queue that uh, for you to go ahead and download and install that takes probably about 10 minutes depending on the speed of your connection of course so now you've got 3.5 set up now we need to make sure our remote play connection settings are correct so we want this little checkbox that says enable remote play let me make sure you guys can see that there oh. There we go. Enable remote play. That checkbox right there needs to be set. That's under settings, remote play, connection settings. So once you have that set up, you are good to go. Um, you don't need to choose this setting here. Uh, you just need to enable remote play and we are good. So now that's all set up and I think we are ready. I think that's all of the settings that we need and we just got to take our PS4 controller and connect it up to our PC and see if we can start streaming. One thing to keep in mind, if you do not know what your login credentials are, you are gonna need them for the next step, so make sure you have your PS4 password and information set up. I will see you back at the computer. Okay, so we are back at the PC. I have plugged in my PS4 controller through the USB dongle, the same one you use for charging again, so you shouldn't need to use one, uh, buy one or find one. It's a standard USB connection too, so you could probably steal one from a phone. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and launch this app. Oh, I'm excited. It's starting. Look, it's kicking off. It's doing something. It's got to be doing something good, right? I've got good luck. It's going to work. See how often we get that icon. Oh, oh, you hear that? Let me move it over. You can certainly hear it. 